Going into the Sinner first day, there, there were definitely a lot of nerves and butterflies this morning, you know, that half an hour drive into the stadium. But I've said it, you know, for the last 10 days, you know, the transition hasn't been easy. Um, sevens, in terms of the fitness, in terms of the physicality and speed of the game, is a lot different. You know, I've been playing, you know, on, on and off for, for the last eight or so months, so making the transition wasn't easy. Um, but I think the welcome I've received within this brotherhood of players has been absolutely phenomenal. You know, from the coaching staff to the players, you know, I've been helped, I've been assisted, you know, and I've been, been made feel welcome at every single point since arriving in South Africa, you know, just over 10 days ago. So, yeah, first day good. I still think for me personally, a lot of hard work. Um, but again, I think the platform laid, you know, even though we had, you know, moments of, uh, of concentration lapses within the 28 minutes we played today, I think the, the foundation laid was phenomenal today. I think the, the effort put in by each and every member of this team was phenomenal. And I think for me personally, it's just about taking the, you know, the next, the next minute, the next job and the next process. So it's been, you know, it's been an enjoyable experience. You know, Las Vegas as, as a city is absolutely amazing. It wasn't my bucket list. Um, I haven't got to see the sights as much as I'd like to because uh, we're here for business. But again, hopefully we, the foundation we've laid today can continue over the next couple of days and you know, we can go out there and uh, do something successful. <laughs> well, it's actually not my first touch in seven. So um, yeah, you know, getting out there and you know, Sissel giving you know, that pinpoint accurate kick uh, was, was really special. Um, being able to contribute has always been the biggest part of my transition into the seven. So, you know, hopefully I can, t can continue doing that over the, over the weekend. And uh, yeah, for me, it's just about the next process. You know, I'm not looking too much further ahead than you now game tomorrow. Um, Go do a bit of analysis tonight and you know, hopefully rest up the old legs. I don't know what, if it's a distinction, but you're probably the player that's taken the longest to score his debut play in sevens all of 12 years. I'm not quite sure that's a record I'd, I'd love to have. Um, I've seen Drew Mitchell doing some Guinness World Record stuff over in Toulon. Um, 12 years to score my first seven tries, uh, definitely not, uh, not the fanciest thing around. But again, it's about contributing and you know, hopefully I can contribute not only by scoring tries, but uh, in every other aspect of the game. Yeah, listen, I think we've approached some tricky pulls in the past and I think this is definitely one of them, you know, uh, to, to go up against Canada who will be definitely building for their home tournament next weekend and then again against Wales tonight and I think they played some really good rugby against USA in their first game. Um, you know, like I said in the team chat, I'm happy with the maturity of the guys that they showed at halftime against the Welsh team. Uh, you know, didn't play our best, best rugby in that first half, but really turned around after halftime. And then obviously tomorrow the, the big one will be, uh, be against the States. But you guys showed enough composure tonight that, that uh, you'll be calm-headed and, and approach the game level-minded. Yeah, I mean, composure is a, a fairly multifaceted word. And I think one of the uh, you know, one of the slogans we've been using for quite a while is composed intensity. And it's, it's, it's knowing when to fire and it's knowing when to switch off and it's knowing when to be calm. And, and just that composure throughout, you know, from minute to minute uh, between the games. And I think tomorrow will be uh, one of those games that requires a hell of a lot of composure. Fantastic to see how the guys come in, uh, guys like Brian, uh, uh, from a team point of view, to see him score his first try. Those are the kind of things that contribute to a better feel good feeling. Yeah, I think, uh, you know, when, when we had Brian and Ryan join us, I think we both, uh, we all knew that they were fantastic players. What I'm, what I'm most proud of is, is the platform that we've created for them to express themselves. And I think um, it, it's not a place where we throw them in on the deep end. Uh, you know, we've given them a couple minutes here and there to get into the game, and I think they've been fantastic where they can be. No, I think it was a good day for us. Day one, really good day. I think uh, one or two um, periods of time in both games, uh, that maybe the second half in, in, the, in the game against Canada and then maybe the, the first two or three minutes against Wales that we maybe weren't disciplined enough and the lapse of con concentration that we didn't really control that game. But I think overall, really happy with day one. But uh, key for us tomorrow morning is going to have to be to start all over again. I don't think we... We must, um, we must think that uh, we can, we can uh, just uh, take off where we, where we left the game today. We, we almost need to start over again and realise that America is going to be a tough game. You've got to be extremely happy that at the same time you get to uh, give all the players gravy or more game time and you probably thought they would get on day one. Yeah, I think and that's almost the, the goal or the focus for us this season is to try and get this, um, as many guys as much uh, game time as possible. And I think we really managed to do that over the last four or five tournaments and, and it, will still, it will still be our focus because we tried to create depth uh, not just for, for the Olympics in, in August 2016 but also for post-2016. Ja, ik denk redelijk uh, gelukkig met mijn dag in. Ik denk uh, so de eerste tweede helft en de eerste wedstrijd in, in Canada en dan zo so de eerste drie meter van Wallis. We ons niet helemaal die, die wedstrijd beheren zoals dus graag zou wou nie. Um, Bikkie concentratie verloor, misschien een of twee strafskoppen wat uh, weer onnodig was, wat ons al een beetje gekost het in die tijd. Maar ik denk wat die structuur en verdediging aan betreft, je weet, um, denk ik was baie goed geweest. En dan uh, 
waarschijnlijk ook in die proces die geleentheid te krijgen om baie weer ouwens kans te geer speelkans te geer te geer waarschijnlijk zo verwacht. Ja, ek denk is altyd ons doelwit om, vooral in hierdie seisoen, om een bykie meer ouwens geleentheid te geer, om een bykie diepte te bouw in die in die groep nie net vir die Olympische Spele in augustus nie, maar ook vir na die Olympische Spele. So, ons moet aan ons geleentere gee en ons moet van die 15 ouds wat inkom, ons moet hulle, jy weet, ons moet hulle toets op een manier op die hoogste vlak wat hulle kan speel. So, baie gelukkig met die met die rotatie systeem wat ons gehad het vandag en ek denk belangrijk dat ons morgen weer van voorafend begin.